Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Yarn Tales by the Sea. My name's Kellyanne and this podcast is coming to you from the southeast coast of the United Kingdom. Oh, what a lot I have to tell you today or show you. Hmm. I was meant to have done this podcast at the beginning of the week, but unfortunately, um, well, I say unfortunately, not that I was in Ramsgate, but we went to Ramsgate with Section 5 and I came home with food poisoning, so <laughs> hence a week late, but uh, more about that later. So, yeah, so like I said, got quite a lot to show you, but uh, first of all, welcome back to all my regular viewers, and if you're a new v- viewer, welcome. Um, all my details are put down below in the box, so if you would like, to subscribe or give me a like then please do so thank you right so for my regular viewers as you can see it's finished (laughs) and that was a long time in the coming because um i procrastinated over putting it together and i don't know why i did that because i actually do enjoy sewing it up but uh. (laughs) anyway so i'll try and show you I'll try and stand up with Colin if you can give me dobbery the camera. So, as you can see, it's all cables. It has cables up here as well. So, I'm very pleased, and it, it does fit lovely, apart from my tummy where I put so much weight on. I'll take it off, and uh, you can see, I'll show you a bit better. Oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. Because I've got no windows open in here because uh, I've got a lot of dogs in the area and they bark a lot. So, so yes, oh, as you can see, loads of cables. And I brought some really pretty buttons from. Right, I'll try and bring this. I don't know if it, I'm hoping, hoping that's showing. Might I think it's the washing out a little bit. Um, but they're little heart buttons in a, a pale sort of lilac colour, and they've got a lot of glitter in them. So I was, uh, yes, very happy with it. So I actually thought it wouldn't go around me, but it. I mean, it's a little bit on my tummy because I put a lot of weight on, but I uh, hope to rectify that at some point. But yes, it's just. Um, it was a King Cole pattern. Oh, look, I said that right, because normally I say King Kong. <laughs> so, yes, King uh, King Cole pattern, and uh, it was done in the uh, King Cole shine in the Heather colourway. So, yes, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with it. Really pleased. It's quite weighty as well, so, yeah, lovely for the winter. So, I do have a little confession um, <laughs> about last month's podcast um if you saw it you knew i had problems with the camera because i have i have my camera in front of me and i have my chromebook there and it's all integrated so so, and basically what happened was i forgot to switch the main camera on so it was the uh, laptop camera that came in but i did work it out halfway through that something wasn't right so yeah so yeah that's that's my confession <laughs> right so yes i have the cardigan finished um and one sock these should have been finished and then another pair started and finished but i've just been i don't know i've, I've lost my sock mojo a little bit i don't know why oh. but anyway these are a uh, cable pattern a simple cable pattern they have one each side so I think that's picking up uh, these it's done in a mm, drops fable uh, the pattern is uh, like I said simple cable by wing wick mum uh, it's a free pattern or you can buy her second book which it features in but if you go to uh, wing wick mum's blog um, the patterns free up there so but I really like the the colorway on this but I mean I I like Drops Fable because it's um, very, very durable. Hmm. So that's that. Hmm. Right, so the old man, um, he wanted a 
hat and scarf so I did make him a hat that I showed you last time but he wanted like a matching set so I had some Aldi yarn that I was given and I'm not very uh, I'm not very keen on it to be honest with you but Colin don't mind I don't I don't think he knows the difference between marine uh, merino wool acrylic whatever you know <laughs> so so this is the hat uh, it's just a, a what do you call it a faux rib using a UK uh, I don't know <laughs> Oh, you, uh, half trebles, that's it. So, But I did put a lot of extra rounds on this because uh, Colin will be the first one to tell you he does have quite a large head. So, but I just held a, uh, a strand of grey and a strand of black together. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's very um, happy with it. I mean, it feels all right, the yarn, because um, I think it does contain, contain should I say, uh, I think it was 10% wool in with the acrylic, but the grey is like a really weird colour grey. I can't explain it. It's like a bit like a dirty grey, but held with the black, it kind of looks all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he wanted a V scarf. So I just did a simple one so he can just like wrap it around. And, that, and then I had some... Uh, greeny colour. Was, uh, yeah, it's not really going to show up. On, maybe it will. So I had uh, some of that left over. Again, the black and the grey held together. Just a simple um, twisty pattern on the edge. But he seemed very happy with it. So, yeah. So, like, not too many finishes, but... I do have a lot of um, new starts. So obviously I've, I've finished a cardigan and so I started another one. Now I had, um, I was going to start my boxy by, uh, is it Ho Hokey Locatelli? Or, oh, I can never say it. Um, but I kind of thought, nah, I'm not quite ready for a four ply jumper at the moment because I've got a four ply shawl on the, on the go. So um, I've started trying not to wash it out. This one, but not in that colourway, not in those colours. I just had some yarn in my stash, so I thought get rid of that. And uh, yeah, so I have completed the back. It's a lot bigger than that, but it, as you know, with acrylic, it curls. So. That's what it looks like and it's in uh, King Cole splash in the um, storm colorway and I've nearly finished the left front I mean, it looks like a sleeve doesn't it it's also curl, curly whirly curly whirly but I don't think it would be one I would wear out of the house but it's because it's a long line cardigan so it'd be fine um, just for sitting around the house or maybe just for dog walking in the autumn or something um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I brought it to be honest with you at the weak moment but that's what it looks like on in a ball so yes, that's that. Right, I'm still doing that shawl. That, I haven't really worked a lot on it. I'm not feeling it. I mean, I really like it. <laughs> that's the tag from last time. So, so that's. I put it around the right way. So, yeah. All right. So yes, so as you can see, it graduates. It's quite hard to hold up because it's so big. So this uh, is being worked in um, Drops Fable. I think it's Nord. Yeah, is it Nord? Anyway, it's got alpaca in it. So it's really, really soft. And then you bring the second colour in. So you're working alternate right, 
uh, every other row. So it's two rows in the first colour, two rows in your second colour, and then you drop the first colour so it's just in the first colour. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, yeah, this really beautiful colour is, is a sock yarn, four ply sock yarn. Uh, it is uh, Starcraft Heads Over Heels in Sugarloaf, I believe. And they have stopped making it and I ran out of yarn and I was panicking but I did manage to find it on a uh, it's not a, it's not a website I've actually heard of I think it's just a, a small independent seller uh, but luckily she had it on sale so I brought an extra two just in case so but like I said I'm enjoying it but it, it oh it's just so boring now because it, all it is is garter stitch and Mm. <laughs> it's all right if you want a bit of mindless stitching so there's that so the other thing i have started i'll say other thing i've still got three things um well i made the secret partial last time as you know and i had a lot of lovely comments on that especially on um la, 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 instagram yeah I'm fairly new viewers i'm a little bit ditzy I, I tend to forget things a lot i don't know why so i is another one but this is it's um it's a practice one and why would i need to practice one you might ask when i've already made one um because i've made my own cakes so i had some it's only style craft uh double knit and i thought well i need to get rid of some of this yarn and I thought I'd have a go, and I, I actually quite like it. Try to bring it in nice and close. I don't know if that's going to... Ah, oh, that's better. I was what, thought it was going to wash out. So you can see some of the detail. Cream's washing out a bit, but um, but I'm very pleased. I mean, when you think about how much a cake is... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, like, Lion Brand Mandala cakes because the colours are quite exceptional and um but they're like i think seven seven ninety nine uh uk pounds that is and i would normally go through i think it's two two of those for uh, this type of shawl come scarf um so to make this has cost me well if i would have brought the yarn but i'd already got it so uh six pounds six pounds so yeah just goes to show doesn't it but like i said this was like a trial run with colors i already had but i think they go pretty well together and i i think i know who might like to receive this for christmas so uh yeah when it's done so there's there's that uh not far on the other sock but um well i don't know trouble is i it takes me quite a while to do well not quite a while well i did tell you i've like lost my sock mojo and i'm procrastinating a bit but i do put a lot of extra length on the leg because i including the cuff which i do 16 rows on the cuff i um do a hundred rows all together uh before the heel heel flap so yeah i do tend to make them but that's how far i've got on that so but i did i did actually start another one thinking oh it might take me out of my um oh, it's all tangled up um <laughs> no but take me out of my uh losing my sock mojo but um that's as far as i've got <laughs> uh, it's quite pretty isn't it Going from stash, um, I think I've got the wall band. Yes, it's King Cole zigzag in purple. So that's, is that blowing out a bit? So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just give up on the old sock knitting for a month and then uh, get back into it. Who knows? Who knows? 
Am I rushing this a bit? It seems like going really quickly. Yes, yeah, so there's that. Um, right, I have started two new blankets. Right. So I have this one. So it will be uh, to fit like a, a single bed. Um, I've never actually done just a granny stripe blanket. So I thought, why not? So I'm using um, just leftover yarns from other projects. So there's no um, working out what colour's going on. What I just grab one and if it seems to go okay with the colour uh, beneath it, I'm just doing it. <laughs> I love a good um, blanket to do though. Because again, it's it, especially one like this because it's so mindless. Absolutely mindless. So yeah. Hmm. Is that one? Right. And the other one I've started which I'm not going to carry on with at the moment, I'm going to put it away um, till the winter, is a proper scrap blanket. So when I say by proper, there's no like, you know, doing, making sure a whole round is um, same colour. No, nope. this is going to be a proper ugly Frankenstein blanket. Um, like I said, just normal granny square. But what I do do is, when I've completed a round, when I go to start the next round, I actually turn it and flip it. So that way it stays a perfect square and you don't get that sort of twisted look, how it goes, you, have some, you know, if you don't flip. So, but yes, what I do is, so I'm making scrappy cakes so i've got quite a few here so i'm going to build up on these uh, i also have this that's left over from another project i did for somebody last year uh, this is actually this is a starcraft cake um hmm, they've actually discontinued this colorway so it's probably it's going to go on a it'll probably go on a scrap blanket. But what I do find with the the Starcraft uh, cakes is it's supposed to be DK. If I wrap wrap around my fingers. I don't know if you can see. So it is so thin. It's it's like it's it's like it's almost between a four ply and a DK weight. So yeah. So all I do is all my scraps go on a on one of these so I just I've got lengths that are just like that long that goes on it and uh, when it go, gets to 100 grams I cake it so so yeah so that'd be a, a winter project I've never actually done a Frankenstein blanket before um, yeah so yeah I don't like throwing anything away so if you've got a bit of scrap like that that can be tied on what is it I don't know if it's called the Russian join is it the Russian join? You know, where you get your two ends, you tie them that end and that end, and then you pull it together and snip the ends uh, and pull tight. So hopefully it shouldn't fall apart. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. So like I said, you probably won't see that for a little while now because I should wait till I've got lots more. So I do have some stash at acquisition, but I'll start off with a magazine I brought. Well, I'll say I brought, I sent the old man out to get it before it sold out. <laughs> um, crochet now. So the reason, and oh, I'm a bit, bit shallow, aren't I? The reason I wanted it is because it had a hook on it and it's really, really pretty. And it's uh, polymer clay. I think, I think that's picking it up nicely. Yeah. And also, two matching progress keepers. It's going to wash out again, isn't it? 
I think the little one, the white one might wash out. So this one's in the shape of a granny square, and this one's in a ball of wool. And they're actually but designed by uh, Bella Coco. I'm sure many of you know who that is. She has her own channel and has a Facebook group, and she also uh, does a monthly box uh, called uh, Crochet Society. So but I wanted it because it's actually got quite a nice array of patterns in it and, and anyone from the UK will know who I am talking about if you're of a certain age which is uh Dennis the Menace from the Albino comic so yeah I might make that for the old man but he's got some nice patterns in talking of which I also signed up to Simply Crochet again <laughs> only because well I say only because um they're doing a good deal at the moment five issues for five pounds so i thought well it's worth it and if i don't like it again at towards the end i can always cancel it so <laughs> right so there's that yeah i'll just yeah i was just saying about the food poisoning so section five played at it's the drumming group i belong to and also one of the leaders we played at uh, a place called ramsgate which is actually very, very nice i mean it's only I don't know how many miles up the coast, about a two hour journey up the coast. And oh, what a beautiful place. I mean, the bay is oh, beautiful. Anyway, we were invited to place the carnival. We ate at a couple of places, one being Weatherspoons, which is the biggest one in the country, but I don't think it was there. But on the way home, we stopped off at a McDonald's and I had a Big Mac. And I wouldn't usually eat it anyway because I'm, you know, but I was so hungry. And I came home then feeling very nauseous and woke up the next day and was quite ill. So, yeah. But on the upside, we did win a cup for best marching band. Well, cup, trophy. Uh, best marching band in the carnival. So, that was really good. So, that was worth it. Right, stash. I have been not knowing up that one. Where is it? Oh, there. Right. I think I did say on the end of the last podcast um, that I've made an order to Hobby. I think it's been, I don't know if it's pronounced Hobby or Hobby, um, but they're actually based in Denmark and I'd seen so many good reviews, I thought I'd give it a go. So I did only do a small order. Um, I think with postage, it came to somewhere between 30 and 35 uh, UK pounds. So, hmm. so this is before I lost my sock mojo. I did buy sock wool. I'll take that to the camera. So it's all blowing it out. No, it's only blowing the bands out. So this is um, Hobie Happy Beat Print. So, but it's got some really, really nice colours. Um, designed in Scandinavia, made in Asia. There are the 50 gram balls, um, 210 metres. It's 75% uh, superwash wool, 25% nylon so and the colorway is is just one two seven so i was very very really happy with that it's um very nice colors right this was worth every single penny look at that This is Hobie's version of, uh, do you know, I never know how to pronounce this. Is it Sheep, sheep G's? Sheep, it's S-H-E-E-P-J-E-S. And, you know, over here in the UK, that is very expensive. It retails for way over £20. So this is their twister. It's 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. It has a, I don't know if you can see in there. A little starting tab um, right this is color 11 uh, you actually get 1,000 meters and it's 250 grams it can be used 
anywhere between a 2.5 to a 4 millimeter hook or needle. Um, well, actually, no, yeah, 2.5 to 4 millimeter on knitting needles and a 3.5 to 4 millimeter on a hook. Um, we're actually classing it as a number two fine. So I think it's just a little bit smaller than a four ply. Yeah, that's not much difference. Um, it can be machine washed, but don't tumble dry. So let's bring that right up again. So I'm hoping it's not washing out too much so you can pick those colours up because try it that way. See it. I think it's showing up a bit whitey here, but it's actually a beautiful, beautiful salmony peach. So yeah. That's like it. I think that was about ten pounds, half the price of the sheep jays and you know that is going to make a beautiful beautiful shawl and then there's this one look at the colours in that guys now I wouldn't normally go for something with mauve and red but together but I was absolutely drawn to it this is a cotton kings 12 it's 100% cotton 200 grams 800 meters and again 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter on needles 3.5 to 4 millimeters on a hook and again this is, comes in as a number two fine it is if I can just I don't know if you're going to pick that out very well it's one of the four stranded jobbies so again I can see a beautiful shawl done in that and I've since learned because I've only used uh, it wasn't one of these but something similar I've since learned to stop it so you get it all going different lengths is to put a bead on it so I shall be doing that but you know over here in the UK, I can't remember how much this one cost because I think I might have thrown the yeah, I think I've thrown this debris away. Um, but anyway, it was so much cheaper than buying it here in the UK. Um, and the other thing I, I'm waiting for is I made my very first order to Lion Brand Yarns, uh, from the good old USA. Um, I was watching Ross from, uh, do you know, because he goes under so many names, I always forget what his podcast is. It Smell Great Guy. Uh, anyway, if you've never seen him before, he, he is amazing. I will I will put a link in the bottom. He predominantly is just a knitter, but he he's just, I just love him. I could listen to him all day. I just love his voice. Anyway, he was saying that Lion Brand had a sale on, on their shawl in a ball. So it's basically what they're doing is it's always been like in a normal shaped, you know, that normal shaped ball. And they now convert, you know, are starting to sell them in cakes. So they had an offer on there. It was five uh, shawl balls, which I think they're about 150 grams each uh, for 10 US dollars. So um all you have to do i don't know if it's still the offer still on but it you you just put shawl haul in the coupon and it converts it down to the ten dollars so i think it came to with postage uh 22 pounds maybe something like that um but that's an absolute bargain because over here in the uk those lime brand sh uh, shawl in the balls are over seven pounds i think they're about seven pound fifty eight something like that so what's that that's 35 36 37 and a half pounds about roughly give or take so, but including postage i've just got it for 22 odd pounds so what a bargain but i was a bit worried about custom so i did check before i made an order and if i've got it right you can order up to i think it's a hundred and 30 to oh, 160 before you would have to pay um 
customs charges so yeah so i'm hoping that should arrive okay i mean i've seen other people make orders from the uk to the us you know under that amount and not had a customs or an excise thing so i tell you in this country they rob you left right and send anything to get your money from you so yeah so i think that's more more or less it on oh, that and to those that have been following uh my oh yeah i've got no i've got something else i told you i did see i can't show you this so i have got a big bag of squishy yarn and i can't open it because for the first time ever i'm getting yarn for my birthday which is on the 10th of august i have never had yarn before for birthday so what i did is i didn't want to complicate it for my old man by saying i want this from that side this from the other side so i made it really easy for him i wrote down a lot of things i wanted from um woolwarehouse.co.uk and so i have no idea what's in here because uh, he had a price point and so i don't know so i'll be able to show you that on my next podcast so yeah uh-huh <laughs> yeah so right you know i hate gnomes any of you that are returning you you know i hate garden gnomes oh, i really do hate them hate them hate them and um, my partner collects the things so oh, i nearly says i nearly said something else then <laughs> so um I kidnapped one of them and I gave them to somebody and it now has the it is one Colin called Nomeo. Ha <laughs> what an original name not. Anyway, it's been kidnapped, it's been given to somebody, it has its own Instagram page and it's been seen all over the place. Do you know what? It even came back to Hastings on Pirates Day and it was taken with all the drummers individually, you know, picture. And Colin, he didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. But it was funny. It was funny. Um, I think that's more or less it. But what I would like to say, um, I know I've had a lot of um, new subscribers later, which I am very, very thankful for um i uh, i have taken stance where giveaways are concerned uh, along with a lot of other podcasters especially smaller podcasters like myself are doing that is i will not be announcing when i will be doing a giveaway um because mainly i would like the giveaway to go to a subscriber and unfortunately you do get people that will search um the what do you call it search the youtube search the internet no yeah is it, they go on youtube and they search for giveaways you know tags they search tags for giveaways and they will just view to the point of where they can see the giveaway and enter the giveaway and you know if that's your bag that's your bag but you know personally like some of the other smaller podcasters i would like any giveaways i do to to go to a you know a subscribe sub, a uh, loyal subscriber see look if i say it slower it comes out <laughs> yeah so i would like you know to do that so um in a not so you know distant future i will be doing a uh, another giveaway um i'm not sure what i'm going to give away but I can sort something out between now and then. So I would like to thank everybody that has stuck with me um, because you know it, when you first start, it, it, it is hard to to you know get subscribers. I don't actively go out of my way be, to get them because that's not the way I am. I, you know, if you like what you see, great. Please subscribe. If you don't like it, well, thank you for watching anyway. But uh, yeah. I think that is everything now. But can't see anything else. Don't think I've left anything off. So anyway, thank you for watching and may you life be full of love and please look after each other. Bye bye for now.